All right, everyone, a little repeat of the recent video I posted. Um, only one of the ramp yet again. Super windy day today. I don't know how I'm going to do, but I'm only going to be out here for a few hours. So let's see if we can hit up our best spots first. See if we can't throw some more mirror lures. And today I'm going to try putting out a bait out of the back of the boat and just let it drag behind under a popping cork. And yeah, I'm super excited to try that. Hopefully we hook up on something. So stay tuned and thanks for watching. It's a little, little high today. Just a little bit. All right, we made it onto the boat without drowning. So let's see if we can brave the wind and brave the elements and get out there on the spot and get to the fish. All right, everyone. So we have our gulp shrimp under a popping cork. About two and a half feet liter. We'll take this a little bit, but we're just gonna give this a little fling of rooney out the back of the boat like that put it here in the rod holder and while that's brewing out there we're going to throw our mirror lure on and get to throwing oh dang didn't even feel them bite looks like it's a trout could be a trout yeah or no, what is this? Oh man, I guess we'll never know. Dang. I think it was a little baby trout though. Dang. Cool. Let's try it again. Yep, came out and ate it. I saw you. What do we got? Trout. Yeah, that's right. I saw you. This one. That feels better. <sighs> big red, big red, big red, big red. Don't come off. Where you going, buddy? Where you going? Oh, good size red. Good size red. Good red, good red, good red. Good red. I think he's got the whole thing in his mouth too, so I got him hooked really good. Gonna bring him up and let him swim down into the net. That's a big boy. That is a big boy right there. Heck yeah, man. Freaking choked it. Release Big Mama back in the water. Down here. There we go. Big old girl. Choked it. Big, whatever he is. I hope he's not in the trees. I hope I can get him out of the trees. Oh, it's a little puppy drum. He's up there on my tree limb. That's okay, I'll hydroplane you across the surface of the water here. Yes, sir, that's a better drum. I'll take him over the little baby trout I've been getting. All right, guys, it's a, another freaking awesome day out here. I. Yet again, use one of my techniques. If you look at my other videos, I'm using the wind. The wind's coming in, and I just found a bank that happened to have some bait fish on it. I had caught a good red earlier over there in that corner, and I saw some more fish blowing up over here, so I thought I'd make another pass down this bank. 
don't leave the fish to find fish. If you see fish striking and have caught a good fish somewhere, leave the area and come back a couple minutes later. Let the area settle down before you try to fish again. So that's pretty much what I'm doing right now. So that's a, that's a big key takeaway is let the area settle after you catch a good catch. And if you're not catching anything, just leave for a couple minutes and just come right back and you should be able to hook up again. So stay tuned. Let's see if we can get some more fish. There we go. What is this? This thing's fighting like crazy. You must have been the one hitting up there at the banks and then coming out here to hit it. Yep, there we go. All right, this one's about, I don't know, eight or 10 inches. Pretty good one. See ya. What I'm doing is, like I said earlier, this flood has the bait pushed up against the bank and these fish are sitting there up against the bank, waiting to ambush the, uh, the bait. Sorry, I messed up speaking, but the fish are right up against the bank with those bait fish. And those bait fish have two choices to either go up on the bank to get away from the predator, or they can take their chances in trying to outrun the predator out in open water. So what I'm doing is throwing this, twitching it, making it act wounded, and on the way back to the boat, if I think it's a good enough distance off the bank, I'll just trick it. I'll do like one, two, three, pause, two, pause, one, two, three, pause. And what that does is it indicates that the bait fish knows it's being chased and that it's injured. And that's when the predator moves in for the kill and eats your bait, which is exactly what happened with that trout last time, is I missed him up there on the bank, he tried it. I started mimicking a, a dying bait fish out into the open water and he came up and ate it right at the boat, so. That's a, that's a pretty good technique to observe and kind of plan on doing when you're out here fishing. All right, something definitely just struck right there. So we're gonna go back over there and investigate. Oh man. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> as soon as I went to leave, this dude took off with my lure. Another dink. Speckled trout. We'll take him. See ya. There we go. Like I said, twitch it back to the boat and they'll come out and eat it. That, that one's bigger. They will come out and eat it. Hey, there we go. We got them. Yep, look at that. He just came up and ate it. Oh, and he got off. Lucky dog. I was twitching that thing up to the surface and they just came up and smacked that bad boy. That's freaking crazy. Got him. Oh, he's running at me. And he ran out of the water. Another dink. I don't know how we're going to get away from these dinks. Another one. Oh no, he's in my lap. Get on my lap, get in the water. All right, everyone. I'm, uh, I'm heading out and I just, I hope everyone learned to, you know, let the wind, the wind only applies if you are in some body of water where it's not dictated by the tide, but it's more dictated by the wind, which the wind in itself is a tide. It can create tides, like an in or outgoing tide. This, this is an incoming tide because it's blowing into the creek 
and you know you just you got to find points and and breaks in the water where you would think that bait fish would be schooled up and hanging out also the water was super muddy so uh, you'll notice in the video that a lot of these fish are around cover and structure which is where bait fish love to get up next to to get warm and it's a uh, it's a place where they can ground themselves because they can't see because of the water clarity for it being dirty so the fish will hang up around the structure and wait for those bait fish to to get injured and my camera cut out but the 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 predator fish will get in between that structure and open water and wait for those injured bait fish to go out in open water which is where i came in with my twitch bait uh, my mr17 so just yeah i hope you guys learn and i hope you guys enjoy the content so thanks for watching